I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters. So clearly, God doesn't want you or me to be anxious. Jesus gives, what, eight reasons not to be anxious back in Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 33. And I think the reason Paul and Jesus and the other writers care so much about helping us get beyond worry, get beyond anxiety, is because it makes God look bad when we're worrying all the time, right? It makes him look like he, he's not going to help us, or he's out of control, or he's not wise, or he's not kind, or he doesn't know enough to help us. So worry reflects very badly on our, our Father. We have a Father in heaven who meets all of our needs. So the opposite that Paul commends is peace, peace that, that passes all understanding, and he calls it the peace of God, which means it's peace from God and probably means it's the very peace of God. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with a quick message, man. And I wanted y'all to see that because, like he said, God does not want us to be anxious. You know, that's why you have so many people on medications, right? Because their anxiety is out of control. They cannot seem to stop worrying about things. They can't stop worrying. So things that haven't happened, they worry about. Things that's out of their control, they worry about. And it's ripping their life to pieces, to shreds. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't stop their mind from moving and worrying all the time. It's just they got everything, they got all these wheels turning in their head. And guess what? When you worry about so many things, you can't live like that. You can't accomplish anything. That's not life. So why you think he's saying that the most high does not want you to worry? And like he said, that's like, that's like spitting in the most high's face. That's like not having any belief. You can't Say, oh, I believe in God, I believe in the most high, but you constantly worried about everything. Well, then how do you believe in the most high? How? When that's your protection right there, you shouldn't be worried about nothing when you have the most high in your life. For real, for real. So guess what? That's why you have him saying that. He said it. it's in the Bible. I'm not a big Bible guy, but I learned it. Myself. I'm learning that myself. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, I had to learn it naturally because of the trust that I've gained with the Most High. I've seen the Most High work in my life. You know, even when I was doing wrong, I always felt like I was protected. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't see what the Most High can do. And now it's like, yo, there's no question that I have the Most High in my life. There's no question that I have the most high protection. So what should I worry about? All I need to do is follow in this road that he's led me to. That's it. Whatever happens on that, listen, I can't worry about that. I got to stay on this path. I got to stay on this journey. I have to continue to live my life. I can't be worried all the time. How can you function? Being anxious all the time, you jittery, you can't do nothing. There's no way that I would be able to get my job done if I was like that, if I had to suffer from extreme anxiety like a lot of people do. That's why you have all these medications for this shit. That's why y'all see it on TV. That's why y'all seeing these medications and people going to therapy. People, man, because you got to go to therapy if you got anxiety. They just not going to give you the medicine. You know what I mean? You got to go see a therapist and then you must be prescribed something. You know what I'm saying? Because people can't get out of their mind. They can't live their life. They can't parent. They can't function. They can't get up in the morning. That's why you should not be worried about a thing. Just like the Lil Wayne song, I ain't got no worries. You shouldn't have no worries when you got the most high. How you believe in the most high but you worried about everything? You seeing everything that's going on in the world, and, and guess what? What you doing? You hiding in your house. You know what I mean? You can't even go do the regular things that you know to do just because you scared of the unknown. You scared what'll happen. And 
the thing about the unknown, let's go back to that. Listen, if we were scared of the unknown, we wouldn't even be on this journey right now. We wouldn't be doing semen retention because we'd be too worried about what's gonna happen. We'd be too worried about how we gonna feel. We gonna be too worried about what everybody think. You know what I'm saying? And the most high be sitting there like, no, this nigga, no, this, I'm sorry, no, this motherfucker didn't. You know what I'm saying? No, he ain't sitting there. He talking about he believe in me, but he won't, he won't pick up the phone when I'm giving him a open. I'm giving him a road to walk that's going to lead him to everything that he wants in life, but he's not going to walk that road because he is worried about what will happen. So he must not believe in me. That's what the most high saying. That's what Jesus is saying. You, yo, you must not believe in the, you must not really trust me. You must not know my power, son. So guess what? Yeah, God don't like when you anxious. God don't like when you worry. He didn't bless you with this life for you to be worried about things that's going on in your surroundings, dog. You know what I'm saying? You can't let that stop you from living. And we often do this all the time. We will not take a chance because we worry. We don't know what's gonna happen. We have anxiety, we anxious. You know what I'm saying? You're not anxious to do right. You anxious and you letting that keep you still. You're not anxious to go and love. You're not anxious to go live, nah. No. That's a different type. You, 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 you was letting this hold you back. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you can't be like that. You can't be worried about everything, bro. You can't be. We know what's going on. We aware of the gun violence. We aware of the chaos in this world, bro. But like I always get y'all that example, man. Of Sodom and Gomorrah. Like I said, I forgot who God told. Listen, he said, walk that way, but don't look back. Otherwise, you're just going to turn into a pillar of salt. And that person looked back, and guess what? They turned into a pillar of salt. They didn't make it. And all they had to do was stay going that way. All you got to do is keep going forward. You know what I mean? You got to keep going forward. And it's a reason, like I know, you know what I mean? My memory be thrown off, but my mom always tells me this. And I think the most high wanted my mom to keep telling me this, to keep putting this in my mind, to keep moving forward. She keep all, she always tell me that story. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be like, dang, that's crazy. You know what I mean? When all that shit was burning down back there, we got so many things that's happening around us on a daily basis. But guess what? We still got to live. We still got to go to work. We still got a life that we got to maintain. We still got to stay up. We still got to stay on this path. I'm not going to stop retaining because of all the chaos that's going on. I'm not going to stop raising my daughter because all the chaos that's going on. Yeah, I'm going to be mindful of these things. I'm going to make sure that I protect myself and my family. But I can't let that stop me from living. That's not going to... Listen, and people questioning the most high for what's going on. How you going to question the most high? You blessed with a life. Live it. And believe in the most high. You don't question just because there's shit going on in your life or the shit that's going on in the world. None of that stuff, man. Everything happens for a reason. You have to know this. You have to have that inner belief that's going to keep you going. When you got that inner belief and you know you're protected, you got that force field around you, bro, nothing will be able to stop you. But guess what? When you don't have any belief, when you don't believe in the most high, when you don't know, right, that the most high has you, when you know that the, when you don't know that the most high has you, like the most high got you, bro. Like I know that the most high got me. Listen, you going you in for a long, miserable life where you think that you being careful. You think that you being safe, but you really ain't, dog. You safe with the most high. You're not safe just worrying and tiptoeing around your life and not going for the things that you want in life. Nah, you're not safe. You know what I mean? You, you got people around that's getting caught slipping in the nicest areas. You got the worst shit going on. Even, dude, listen, nobody is exempt from this shit. It don't matter if you got money. Money can't save you. Your muscles can't save you. Can't nothing save you. 
You know what I mean? Even in cases where you even think you strapped, you got your gun, you good, no. It's people dying all over the place who had their gun on them. So nothing is going to save you like the most high. You got to know that you protected out here. You can't be just letting your life just, just, you can't just be letting your life pass you by because you worried about everything. What type of life is that? You can't enjoy that. You can't go nowhere, have no fun. You can't elevate. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that you can't do because you, 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 you fearing the unknown. You fearing the things that, listen, that ain't in your control. You feel, you, you fearing the shit that ain't even happened. You know what I'm saying? You scared of what ain't even happened, dog. So you cannot be anxious and be having uh, worries all the time, bro. Yeah, that's why you see so many people jacked up. They get they, their head is toe up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people head toe up from past traumas. Like I said, the news is getting it. It's anxiety through the roof. All types of, y'all thought it was just women. Nah, it's dudes out here with anxiety up the ass. They don't know what, the, they don't even know what's going on in their life, man. It's almost like they got PTSD or some shit. It's mugs walking around with PTSD from what's going on in their areas, from what's going on in their mind, what's going on in society, and they don't know what to do, so guess what? They're going to get that medication. Or, you know what I mean? You know how we, as black people, so a lot of us don't like to go to the doctor. We don't like to take the necessary steps to get help. And the next thing you know, we doing crazy shit. So that's another one, man. Listen, if you feel like you got anxiety, if you feel like you can't get out of your own head, Man, go see, some, go see somebody about it. Go talk to somebody. You know what? You may, you may need to be on medication for a little bit just so you can do what you got to do. Just so you can, you know what I mean? Because that's torture right there. That is for real torture to not be able to get out of your mind and be worried about every little thing. That's not life. That's not living. So I want y'all to understand that message too. Go back, listen to that message at the beginning, man, and wake up. Because when you got the most high, you really not worried about a thing. Just like Lil Wayne and them said in that song, I ain't got no worries. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters.